Hey guys, hey Street hey. Voice, and I'm with James Mac. Jeff, Jeff Macmillan. Yes. See, I already got it wrong. All right, can I try it again? See, okay, whatever. I ran down here from work. So tell me what it is. We're at Danny Coyle's on Hate Street. Works. Everybody go there, buy a beer, whatever you want. Love this joint on Hate Street. Well, see, I'd suggest a honey lemonade, there a hot toddies, or a honey soda. Which are made by the stuff that you make. So what's the story with your honey? Well, we, we, honey. We, we, we keep bees at auspicious locations, and this is one of them. So bees are kept in the backyard, which are dedicated for the use for their honey. That's for their, for their awesome. yeah. And how long have you been doing it here? Oh, here? Oh, a couple, five years. A couple, five years. And uh, and so what other locations do you have? Oh, throughout the Bay Area. Yeah. All over the all over the hate, all over all over San Francisco, Napa, East Bay, Marin. And a little bit about your background, oh, like me? where? Yeah, how did you get into bees? Long story short, is I was a student at Stony Brook studying biology and anthropology, plant biology, which is part of studying plant biology as well. Pollen and nectar. Yes. As well, I studied pollen and nectar. Didn't really use it. Became a chef. Right. Which is honey was one of those apparent substances that didn't add very well. As it always had these curious qualities of being a wet shirt. Okay. And so, learning about it in anthropology, it was one of those things that never went bad. Yeah. And so, aside from the fact that it never went bad, longer story longer, as I brewed with it, when I started learning about honey. And so I started brewing honey and making making ginger ale and honey mead. Longer story longer, they said, oh, I like this stuff. I like this stuff from this place, and so the only way I could get this stuff from this place is to put bees in that place to get this stuff. And so I put bees in a place, like Napa, get fennel, eucalyptus, orange, to chase these other, other florals throughout the Bay Area. Yeah. Wow. And when did this start? How long ago? Oh, for me, like I've been doing this for close to 10, said, 15 years. Okay, all right. It's a hobby and playing. But you've been here. But, but, but oh, here, here, here in the city? Oh, yes. over 30 years. 30? I've been here 30 years. Okay, but you're I, from I, the East Stony Brook. That's the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, East Coast. And when did you come to San Francisco? About 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Okay, and you live in the neighborhood? or you yeah, live... I live in the Hayes, Houston. Okay, so we'll get to that. Show me the bees, and then we'll you know, probably do another roll, and yeah, I can yeah. edit it all, but we're good. Thank you for doing this, by the way. That's a dog. That's not a bee. <laughs> All right, here we go. So excited to see the bees. Okay, I'm watching. Okay, we're following Jeff. Sorry, I called you Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack, Jeff. Yeah, that's right. Here they are. My girl. So they just live inside these two little boxes. Watch if you want. Yeah. You never go to the front of the beehive. Okay. It's the active place where they keep coming in and out. You don't want to bump into them. Okay. Because if they he see you or feel you or run into you, they're going to question why are you there. Right. And so we can touch the bee boxes by coming from the side. Just quietly. Come around to the side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Touch. You can feel them. <laughs> you know, I'm a beginner. <laughs> yeah. You can feel them humming. Yes, yeah, actually. Wow, I can yeah. feel it. Wow. Hi, Mr. B. Hi, B. The girls. Girls. I mean, They're hi, Mrs. All girls. Hi, ladies. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stay away from the front. No, but the idea is that once you're in the shade, they really can't see you. Oh. And so you see how they circle around out in the sun? Boom, out, boom, out, boom, out. So all they care about is nectar and, and pollen. That's it. You must love them so much. These are my girls. Like how long, so, how, so you have them everywhere? It's just yeah. these two boxes? This are, is two here. Two oh, here. These are my demo boxes okay. for people who want to Try it see out. bees, touch a bee box, not be afraid of, of, of nature in, in an urban environment. As this is, this is an urban farming. And so this is a model for urban farming that's a success where the owner is a friend. And he has bees here that he's using as a commercial agreement to have honey for his business that is the best raw local honey that can be produced because it's from his back now do the bees like it the jeff bees, the bees love it look at them do, are they i mean they're, you know do they know that they're in the city or you well, know because they, 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 they got to go to the flowers they, right they, but this neighborhood has got people who water their gardens there's an avocado behind molotovs most of these trees are blooming right now most of the flowers are blooming right yeah. now 
the street is. And they know how to find that stuff. And look, stuff. At, they're just going off, dedicated to some some place that's got flowers, and they don't care about us. And you said I'm going to ride shotgun, so yeah. I'm wondering. <laughs> tell me what I'm in for yeah, here. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, right. you okay. <coughs> Only because I'll tell you a little story as we walk. Are you, oh, you got your good yellow? No, I'm good. I, I changed. No, I, I almost wore my work clothes. I changed. Oh no, work clothes is also good. But no, just just make sure you. This is cover. yeah. No, the, I, I'm going to put you in a half suit. Okay. So you're going to be in a half suit, so you can use your hands okay. and be able to see and touch. I don't have to get too immersed. I'm no, just no, kind of. Okay. You'll be you'll be oh. far enough away where I'm going to have a partner holding the box. I'm going to drop them in, and it's pretty it's pretty unceremonious, but it can be quite. Yeah. Quite, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. you know, the life of a bee, bee repo man yeah. is always intense. And I got stung in the ear by a wasp when I was four, so the sound can kind of. But I'll be mellow, I'll be mellow. Okay. Wasps are different than well, Yeah. And, and they're, they're the same family, but they're, they're two different religions. Okay. I'm going to pound a beer real quick, too. Oh, I'll, I'll edit so, that part ready? out. Ready? Oh, we got three of them. All right. Cool, perfect. And then I'll have a. Uh... Cool, I'm so excited. So this little guy is called a what again? This is a, this is a lemonade. Okay. This is an Irish lemonade. And, it, and he's sprinkling pollen on it. Are you serious? So this is, this is bee pollen. I was really thinking I should have rimmed it with the pollen. That's a really pretty little drink there. I know. Okay. It's an Irish lemonade. All right, I'm, I'm turning off the camera now, and if I don't come back, <laughs> page three's voice. Bye.